Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. Every fall, we talk about road safety here on Ag PhD. So whether you're a farmer or a non-farmer, this, in our opinion, is perhaps the most important topic. I mean, it's great to talk agronomy and hopefully farmers are doing well and we're raising a great food supply and all that stuff, but safety's got to be number one. You know, Brent, I think everyone should be required in driver's education to have to drive a big truck or to have to drive a wide implement behind a tractor down the road. Because if you do it one time, you kind of realize, you know what, I really appreciate when people slow down before they go flying around me, or I, I appreciate people not honking at me because I'm not off on the side of the road because that's really dangerous too. Yep, okay, so just a couple of things. If you are a non-farmer, you may not be familiar with the rules for farm equipment. Number one, the farmer does have the right to the road. I mean, other than, okay, the interstate, you have to drive at least 40 miles an hour. That's the minimum speed limit. And a lot of farm equipment can't do that. But just down two lane highways in rural America, the farmer has the right to the road. So the farmer is not supposed to be driving over on the shoulder. And our dad always told us, stay off the shoulder. Because number one, you're giving up your right to the road. Well, now if you do have to move in to miss a mailbox or anything else, you're the one at fault. So stay on the road. That's number one. But number two is when you're coming up behind a slow moving vehicle, you see that triangle, that orange triangle, the slow moving vehicle sign. That means you have to slow down to the speed that vehicle's going, then you can proceed around. You can't just go flying past at 55 miles an hour or 65 or whatever the speed limit is on that road. You have to slow down to that speed first, then go around. Here's the other thing. I'm always thinking as I'm passing big equipment, it's probably a little bit difficult for the farmer to see me with all the things that he's got and that big piece of equipment. Chances are he can see me, but just in case, I'm gonna make sure that I'm doing everything right around there and watching really close because you never know where a farmer's going to turn. And many farmers are working within just a couple miles of home, so they're probably gonna be turning into a field approach rather than turning onto the next road. So you wanna pay attention, that farmer might have to turn here coming up in a quarter mile at the next field approach, not just at the next highway. The big thing to understand too is in a lot of cases, farmers aren't going far. Most all of our fields, for example, are within about three miles of our main farm. So yes, you might have to slow down for us. We might be going over some hills or whatever. Just have some patience, please. And believe me, I know that's hard. It's hard for me to have that patience too but we always have to think about safety first. It's only an extra maybe couple of minutes, but that's just part of living in rural America. All right, now, if you are a farmer or if your job involves moving big equipment, try and do as much of that as you can in the daylight hours. If you've got a big move ahead of you, get it done before it gets dark when everybody can see that visibility is super, super important. And you know what, if you get done and it's midnight and you're a long ways from home, you might find a safe place to leave that equipment and come back and get it the next day. Yep, so once again, road safety, it's something we want you to be thinking about at all times of the year. Key things here are the farmer is going to stay on the road. He's not going to be off on the shoulder. So because of that, you are in some cases going to have to wait to go around him. Just make sure that whether you have to wait or you can pass immediately, that you are slowing down to the speed of that slow moving vehicle. Then you can get up to speed again and go around. Road safety is absolutely important, but weed control is important for a different reason. If you want to raise a successful crop, can you identify this week's Weed of the Week? 